Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, I know I'd say good evening, but it's 3.34 in the morning, so good evening, good morning, good day. How's everybody doing? I know it's been a couple weeks since I made a video. I've just been I've just been pretty busy with, you know, life and work and stuff. And actually, it's 3.34 in the morning on the graveyard shift right now. So I just want to talk about some things that are affecting my state that I'm not very happy about. So, yeah, I'm going to take this opportunity to talk about this because, yeah, I'm not very happy with the way things are in Massachusetts at the moment, especially with the one who's running the joint. Um, so. My latest video I made a couple weeks ago. You know how I made those videos where I was talking about how um, Maura Healy's transportation secretary um, said about putting tolls on the border of New Hampshire and wanting to tax, like, truck drivers or something, and it completely uh, it, it pissed off the governor of New Hampshire, and he, he said that, like, look, this is just another way for... Um, it's just another way for Massachusetts to be able to take more people's money and whatnot. Well, he's right. Um, Moore Hilly took responsibility for that whole thing, saying we're not putting tolls on their border. So I gave her credit for that. But now she did something where I cannot look past it now. There's something that she did that was so disingenuine and so dishonest that I cannot sit here and support her any longer. I mean, my opinion of her, even on a good day, has generally been mixed at best anyway. I mean, like I said, my, my opinion on her, um, generally speaking, has been mixed at best, even on a good day. Um, she's no Charlie Baker. Charlie Baker was the best governor ever. Uh, we were in the best fiscal state ever. We got along with all of our neighbors here in New England. Can we have him back, please? Like, can we seriously have him back? Can we have someone back that is not fiscally irresponsible and pissing off New Hampshire and pissing off other states? Can we, like, not? Can we have someone like that back in office, please? Because, it, you know, it would really be helpful. So what is all this stuff I'm talking about here? Well, keep watching and enjoy the program. So yes, Maura Healy is the governor of Massachusetts, and she's she's not a very good one. I can tell you that. Um, so what am I talking about here? Well, why why am I why am I saying all of this? What why am I why am I talking about this? Well, I'll explain. I'll explain. So in this segment right here. Maura Healy decided that it would be a good idea to, to literally inject Florida's abortion laws over on New Hampshire saying that, oh, this is an important race. You don't want to be a state like Florida right now with the extreme abortion laws, which, by the way, a six-week uh, ban on abortion, I... Am completely opposed to that, but unlike Maura Healy, I'm not going to deflect from what's going on here and try to and try to sit there and try to dictate what they shouldn't do. I am completely opposed to that. I think abortion should be legal um, up to uh, as long as it's up to fetal viability and it's up to that and whatever. I'm fine with it. Like I said, I'm a pro-choice guy, but I, whatever. I disagree, but other than that, that's besides the point. That's for that's the the business of Florida. That's for the voters in Florida to decide. You know my my homie Dark Reaper and others in Florida. That's for everybody there. You know, that's that's their that's their state. You better get out and vote for a Democrat right now in that gubernatorial election because abortion and democracy and so much else is on the line. This prompted Governor Sununu to respond, quote, Massachusetts Democrats cannot scare New Hampshire voters, Sununu told NH Journal. The fact that abortion will remain Safe, legal, and accessible in New Hampshire. No one is proposing any changes to restrict a woman's access to health care. Maura Healy should stick to what she does best, proposing new taxes and new ways to waste her citizens' money. Yeah, and wasting money on that. Yeah, and wasting money on nonsense like this. And, you know, stuff like that. So... 
like I said, I was okay with her in the past. I was sort of okay with her in the past. I've given her, I've given her, um, you know, credit on certain things and whatnot. But, but, this, but this is just, this is just completely dishonest because to say that New Hampshire is going to restrict abortion is absolutely false. Um, like neither Chris Sununu or the others that are going to be in that race, because Chris Sununu is not running for another term. It's going to be, it's probably going to be a race between Kelly Ayout, who I now actually agree with now. All of her criticisms of Massachusetts, I used to think was just Massachusetts derangement syndrome, but now it makes perfect sense to me. I'm still not a fan of her philosophy. I think she's a little, eh, she's a little too right wing for my taste. But that's besides the point. That's for the people of New Hampshire to decide. But whatever. Like, nobody there is going to change anything with respect to reproductive rights. Neither Chris Sununu, nor a Democrat, nor a Republican is going to do that. So so for more Healy to try to sit there and try to say that, oh, well, New Hampshire is going gonna, is gonna to restrict abortion if you get some Republican in there. Oh, my God. That's an embarrassment. That's a joke. And the reason I'm speaking out about this is because I am I am I am actually very concerned about my state, and I'm afraid that this state is off track and it's heading in a not, in a not so good direction. And rather than just sitting back and thinking that that this is going to be okay, I'm going to sit here and be like a sheeple. I'm going to sit back while this governor is embarrassing our state in the to the face of New Hampshire, to the face of Maine, to the face of Rhode Island, to the face of other states where where people are actually going to be fleeing our state because of bullshit like that. Well, bullshit like this and Maura Hilly's policies on the economy have been absolutely terrible. Um, her, her, her handling on the, on the migration crisis, where she has wasted billions of dollars, where she has wasted billions of dollars with unchecked immigration that's coming into our state, that is coming into our state, trying to make our state into a sanctuary state, which I am completely opposed to. Look, I believe I believe that there should be borders. I have I don't have a problem with immigration. I do not. I, I look, look, I have said this. Do not take this out of context and try to say that I'm some right winger. I'm against immigration. I am not against immigration. I'm opposed to uncontrolled immigration. Like what Trump, like what Biden is doing with our southern border, literally just having people friggin' pouring in like no tomorrow, and Maura Healy letting people pour into Massachusetts. And then, and for Maura and for Maura Healy to be letting people uh, pouring into Massachusetts, I am completely. And this has been going on, and this has been going on, and I'm not happy about it. And then she tries to take this credit because, okay, she she did this thing earlier. Either it was either it was earlier, it was like late last year, where she 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 ended up um, uh, proposing some tax cuts. She got the tax cuts out the door. That was a good thing. But, but, but you know what she's trying to do here? She's trying to be arrogant, and she's trying to throw this into their face. And Chris Sununu um, took a jab at Maura Hilly, and rightfully so, during a New England Council breakfast Wednesday for bragging about cutting taxes. That's like me bragging about having a salad. We all know it's swallowed by a sleeve of Oreos. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Yeah, that's very true. Look. Maura Hilly could have used that and said, well, we need to cut taxes because we need to change the fabric of Massachusetts because we've been overtaxing people for way too long. Things have not been going, you know, um, th th there has been a thing where um, big, uh, Charlie Baker tried to get this out the door. He couldn't get it out the door because of the one party uh, rule on Beacon Hill. Trying to do that, um, you know, all that. Maura Hilly could have taken that and said, well, we just want to do this because we just want to be a better state. But she's using that and trying to rub it in his face is the problem here. So the problem is here is that is that like Maura Healy is so fucking stupid that she thinks that she's going to try to rub this in his face and try to act like, oh, like the, this is some great thing. Now, here's the thing. New Hampshire is superior to almost everywhere in New England. OK, in, in New Hampshire, because we're met where. Um, because remember, uh, Deval, we, we all know. Um, we are, I am concerned that we are heading down the Deval Pat in back to the days of Deval Patrick, where he raised over 20 taxes in a row, increased spending by eight and a half billion dollars, and it destroyed the Massachusetts uh, economy, uh, cost us a hundred thousand jobs, and cost us um, over a thousand businesses. So, yeah, um, I think a governor needs to do the exact opposite, and I think and when you see the thing that, um, that and when you see the thing that Maura Healy's trying to do, now she's trying to do, 
she's trying to house she's she's allowing local areas to be able to raise their own taxes including like excise taxes and stuff like that which is just like like this is not a good path and this state is not on a good path i i i, I am serious i am serious we we have already had we have already had we have already had the, the, the largest mass exodus of taxpayers flee in our state of any state in the New England region and one of the worst in the nation. 50,000 Massachusetts residents have left, uh, taking with them one of the billions of dollars out of a year. So, so, so it is, this is the backbone of our economy, okay? And, and, and by allowing this uncontrolled immigration into here and, and then trying to do all this, it's like, yeah, this, this is, this is going to crush our economy. And now we're having a, like, and we're now having a shortfall. But, we're now having a one billion dollar uh, project, projected shortfall, um, uh, and and now having to announce three hundred uh, seventy five billion dollars in uh, budget cuts. So yeah, um, Maura Healy is not doing a very good job. She's not doing a very good job at all, and uh, and and I am and I am not happy with I am not happy with any of this. I am not I am I am not happy with any of this. I'm fr I'm frustrated with it. I, I I am I am frustrated with it because. We were doing, we were doing so well. We were doing so well under Charlie Baker, like we really were. We were doing, we were doing phenomenal under him. Like we were doing phenomenal under him. And I am so glad that in 2014, that that that, that freaking scoundrel Martha uh, Martha Coakley, who by the way, you can look at her record. She literally has neglected children at DCF and allowed them to die. I am not even kidding. That's why we call her Martha Crookley. Thank God she will never be in office. Thank God. Screw her. She's a fucking joke. And and then she tried to accuse Charlie Baker of uh, oh of uh, raising premiums when he was working at Harvard Pilgrim and all and which is a which is a corporation it just it was just a complete and utter joke. So she was using that against him, and then he gets in. He won two terms. We were in the best fiscal state. We were in the best fiscal state. Charlie Baker was good friends with Chris Sununu. He was good friends with governors all throughout this all throughout New England. And what is more, Haley doing? What, what is she doing? What is she doing? She's, she's a, she's a complete and utter abject failure, and she's trying to project that failure onto others. What she's trying to tout is the complete opposite of her failure since being in office. Like I said, I, like I said, I, I've given her credit on some things, but don't, but overall, I think she's done but overall, I think she's doing an exceptionally poor job. I think the way she's handling the migration crisis in the state is absolutely abysmal. And I think that um, our reputation in the face of others is on the decline because, uh, especially to our neighbors to the north in New Hampshire, where many of our former Massachusetts uh, re residents, businesses, jobs, and taxpayers now reside. And where many more are going to reside if more Hilly does more stupid shit and she tries to have her way. Why do you think all those people, you know, back when our business climate was in decline, and and, and you know what, it's probably going to end up being that way because it was it wasn't very friendly. People were saying on the South Shore of Massachusetts, man, I wish I opened up my business on the South Shore line in Rhode Island. Other businesses who had uh, offices in both states say, wow, what a difference. They're like <clears throat> people on the North Shore are probably saying, man, I wish I opened up my business across the North Shore line in New Hampshire. Others who have businesses in both states say, boy, what a difference between the two states. Yeah, what a difference. What a difference. Yeah, th there is a difference between the two states. Um, Chris Sununu's uh, cut taxes. New Hampshire has revenue that is through the roof. They, they have revenue that's through the roof, safest state, um, safest state. They got great local control. They have all sorts of great things. They have all sorts of great things. I am proud to have spent met a lot of time there. I have been proud to spend a lot of time there. I've gone there. I've gone to this place called Weeks Woods in New Hampshire. I've been to many areas in New Hampshire. I have several friends in New Hampshire, including a good friend, uh, Seacoast RN. Um, I, I've been, I, I've had a lot of good times there. Um, and, and look. I love this state. This state is home to me. But uh, but I am but I am embarrassed with with the way it's going, because 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 this doesn't speak for me. This is this isn't this isn't me. I didn't vote for Moore Hilly to begin with, and I will never vote for her now. I can assure you that for her to embarrass our for her to embarrass our state like this and her handling of the migration crisis being absolutely abysmal, and and her fiscal management being absolutely abysmal. 
I just cannot, I just, I cannot support her. And I will never, she will never get my vote now, ever. And I, and I can assure that, that Maura Haley's record of failure that is embarrassing Massachusetts and is bankrupting our state, I can tell you that she will never get my vote now, ever. She will never get my vote now, ever. She has been an abject failure and a disaster for the for this Commonwealth. And as a lifelong Bay Stater who who has been born and raised here, I am in, I am embarrassed by this. I am embarrassed by her behavior. I'm embarrassed by the, just the way everything's being run. I, I'm I'm not I'm not happy with this. She is turning a once moderate blue state into a joke. Because, because we see how other blue states are. Like you go the further west, New York, one of the most unfriendly business climates ever. Worst taxes, worst roads. It's a friggin' joke. California is even 50, it's 50 times worse. I do not want to become one of those things. Or New Jersey has the highest property taxes, the highest income tax, highest all this and that. I don't want to become that. And I feel like that, that, that if we don't get serious soon, and we don't vote more Hilly out of office. If we don't, God forbid she gets another term. God forbid she gets another term. But I will tell you, we are not heading down a good path. I am not happy with the way things are in this state. We need, we really need someone like Charlie Baker back, someone like Chris Sununu back. And I'm glad that Kelly Ayoade in New Hampshire is calling out Maura Haley on her bullshit. I I am I I am actually very happy about that. I am actually very happy about that. And and I and I like I said I wasn't I, I'm not that big of a fan of her for politics or whatever. But but I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna say yeah Kelly you 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 tell her you you, you tell her you tell more you call Maura Haley out for what she is because everybody can see through her now. Even my left wing butt can see her for what she is. Because people just can't take it anymore. The taxes, the fees, the regulation, people just can't take it anymore. The housing costs, everything. Instead of focusing on that, why aren't you focused on that? Why aren't you focused on, why aren't you focusing on our taxes, which are out of control? Why don't you focus on that? Yeah, you, you propose a little bit of tax, really. Like I said, that's like, like Chris Sununu said, that's like a thousand pound person saying, I ate a salad, so yeah. What is this, a joke? Do you expect to be taken seriously? Do you expect to be taken seriously? No, you're not. You're, you're an embarrassment. You're a complete and utter embarrassment. The best way to not deal with, um, to know what it's like to be under Democrats is to not have a Democrat in office. It's as simple as that. Because we see how Biden is running our country, Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, Biden, congratulations. What a joke. I said this the other day, and I want to reiterate this as well. Um, what the hell was it? I'm trying to find the quote here, because I can't really find it. But there was something I was talking about, and I can't remember what it was. Da -da 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 -da, I gotta scroll up. Oh, okay. You know what I was saying? I feel like I'm becoming increasingly red pilled. I said this in the in the news network on um on Discord. I said, not gonna lie, I feel like I'm becoming increasingly red pilled. I'm still a lefty. Yeah, that's true, and I will always be a lefty. But why do I feel more red pilled? I mean, my view's still saying I feel like there's some things I've evolved onto the right side. Yeah, I have. Like, like I like I know the idea of tax cuts. And, and not having taxes that are friggin' ridiculous. I know that's not popular in left-wing circles, but I don't care. I'm my own person. I don't care who likes that or not. I don't give a shit. I don't care. You don't like it? Too bad. You, you, you want to go argue for raising taxes? That's your problem. But, but whatever. I don't believe in that. That's not my philosophy. Taxation has to be balanced. That's one thing. And I do believe that you need to have, you need to have a good business climate. I don't understand why this is even a right-wing idea, but whatever. It's not even a right-wing idea. They shouldn't even be left versus right, but whatever. The idea that, that, that you should have a friendly business climate and everything, 
that the fact that you should have a friendly business climate, I just don't understand it. I believe in that because you should you, you need to have a, a one that, that that welcomes small entrepreneurs that, that this is a good this is how this is how the economy runs. You need to have fiscal management. You do need to have local control, fiscal management. I do believe in things like school choice. You do need to have stuff like that. I'm a moderate when it comes to abortion. I am pro-choice, but up to a certain point, only up until fetal viability. Maura Hilly can try to, I mean, Maura Hilly can go run around, can go run around the state over and over and over again saying that New Hampshire is going to end up blah, 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 if a Republican gets out. But nobody in the media, nobody in the general public, and no one in New Hampshire or Massachusetts believes her. Because, because people like me and average people here in Massachusetts, all we want to do is just live our life. Like, all I want to do is go to work, have a roof over my head, have food on the table for me and my significant other, and be able to go out and, you know, have somewhat of a budget, can live on and whatever, and just, just live life. Just, just live everyday life. But, but that's why I'm concerned. That's why I'm concerned for our future. This is why I'm very concerned. I am very concerned for our future. That, that, that I am concerned for our future. For her to do this, and then for her to do the other thing, and then for from the migrant crisis to the to the to, to, to the whole toll idea, this is her transportation sector. The fact that Maura Hilly didn't fire this woman really speaks volumes. Maura Hilly's whole management has has just been abysmal. Okay, sure, she's not as bad as Deval Patrick. Don't get me wrong; nobody was worse than him. But I feel like we're slowly but surely slipping back into those days and i'm not and i'm not happy with it at all i'm not happy with it at all the state is off track and it's not in a, and it's not in a good place the state the state is not in a good place other parts of new england are doing good we're not other parts of new england have better governors we don't we don't and more Hilly can try to sit there and argue about corporate giveaways. Yeah, you you want to you're the one who's talking about the corporate giveaways because your management, your your tax policies are you're the one who's talking about giving away our jobs and our businesses because you know why? Because you're giving them all away to New Hampshire. You're giving them away to Maine. You're giving them away to uh, you're giving them away to Florida, Georgia, and, and North Carolina and South Carolina and then Tennessee and other places. You know why? Because they're all flee because they're all fleeing our state in droves. And yeah, we do have a population exodus, and Moore Haley's only made it worse. It stabilized a little bit under Baker because things were better under Baker. Now, everything, not everything was rose, was rose tinted glasses and whatnot, but but it was, it was, it was, it was livable. It was livable. It wasn't an embarrassment. Like like this state was not Taxachusetts. <laughs> like like this state was not Taxachusetts. But now we're heading back. But now we're heading back down that road, and that's very scary. It's not good. And rather than, and, and no, nobody, we, we, no, we are not. Look, here's what people in Massachusetts are concerned about. We are concerned about the fact that we have, a, that we have, that we have a 6% sales tax. We already have a, we already have, we, we already have, pro, we already have high property taxes, high sales tax. We have a local meals tax where, where we are being, we, we are, we are overrun with taxes and bureaucracy. Okay, they're concerned about that. They're concerned about the fact that we have a revenue shortfall. People are concerned about that. People are concerned about the about a migration crisis. That it that, that is that is threatening our state and threatening our economy. They're not concerned about any of these crazy issues, and people in New Hampshire are not concerned about any of these crazy issues because they don't want to become us. Okay, they don't want to become us. And even though I disagree with Florida's abortion law because, you know, because I'm a leftist, I'm pro-choice, whatever. But people in New Hampshire and people here are not concerned about that. And they're not concerned about these crazy issues that Maura Healy is trying to distract people with because Maura Healy cannot defend her record of failure. Her record is, her record is abysmal tax policies, a migrant crisis, a business crisis, an insurance crisis, and a revenue crisis, empty promises and broken promises at that. That's what people in Massachusetts are concerned about. And yeah, like we, we, we've we heard about that. Oh, but it's like, oh, but all the stuff about the, uh, the stuff. Like, it's like, yeah, more Hill, we, we all heard the things that you said about, about, you know, whatever. Like it's, it's all false, okay? 
It's all false. It's all false. By the way, you need to do something about our roads and bridges too because I'm not happy about the state of that either. Draining the money out of the road construction. I'm not happy about any of it. Gas prices are spiking again in this state and all across the country. But why don't you do something about that? Why are you worrying about Florida? Why are you worried about Florida? Look, I don't just because I don't agree with their law, that's that's their choice. But I'm not concerned about that. I'm concerned, like I said, I'm concerned about the way things are here. That that are off track and are, are heading in a bad direction. I'm not. I'm not I'm not happy with it. I'm I'm concerned about that. I want Massachusetts to be a place where we can all be proud of. Like, I want us to go back to the days of Charlie Baker where we had responsible fiscal management, good relations with our neighbor. A good governor of Massachusetts knows how to get along with whoever's the governor of New Hampshire, whoever's the governor of Rhode Island, whoever's the governor of Maine or Vermont or whoever. I want that person to be where people my age, young people, can start a career where you can raise a family, where you can raise children, where you can afford to retire, where you can pursue your ambitions and do stuff like that. Because there's so many good things about Massachusetts. We have great schools and great, we have a great education system. We have great schools. We have all this. We have a lot of things to be, we have a lot of good things to be proud of in this state. But in terms of leadership right now, our state's off track and it's not in a good, and it's not in a good place. We need to turn things around. And I want to turn things around. And I want this state to turn around. Because I'm not because I'm not happy with it. Because I am not happy with it. Because I'm not happy with the way things are right now. And I want things to change. My fellow Bay Staters, we need to take the Commonwealth of Massachusetts back and make sure that Maura Healy is a one-term government. And yeah, I'm looking at you too, Jeff Deal, who ran in the 2022 election. You gave more us Maura Healy. Maura Healy won by default because you're a neocon and you only favor tax cuts for the rich. You favor more privatization. Look, what I believe in is a balance. I believe in a balance of where you need to have a, t a taxation to invest in the people but you got to have a friendly business climate. You need to have a combination of both. But Jeff Deal was just neocon tax cuts for the rich, uh, kissing Trump's ass all day, you know, all that type of stuff. No. What you what we need is someone that's more responsible. And because of him, we now. No. I said this. I said this that that if Maura Healy royally fucks up, I'm gonna be on Team Fuck Maura Healy. I am on Team Fuck Maura Healy. I have no respect for her. She will never get my vote in the future. She will not get my vote when she runs again, and she will never get my vote in the future for anything, anything again, because I will I will never forget what she did to our state. I will never forget what she has done to our reputation. I will never forgive her for what she has done. I will never forgive her for what she has done. And things have to change. Things really have to change. Things really have to change now. Because I'm not happy with any of it. So, anyway, I just wanted to make this video to get this out there because I'm, like I said, I'm just not, I'm not happy with the way, I'm just not happy with the way that, um, I'm just not happy with the way that things are in this state. Um, and things really need to turn around. And need that. Let us, people here in Massachusetts, let's make Chris Sununu in New Hampshire. I salute you because he's a mo he's he's like Charlie Baker, a social moderate, but fiscally responsible. Kelly Ayoud, I don't necessarily agree with politically, but I but. I salute her, too, for calling out Maura Healy for what she is. And, yeah, I'm feeling the same way. Because I, on a, I, on behalf of this state, I apologize for her, for her record of failure. Because I didn't vote. I didn't ask for it. She doesn't speak for me. But, anyways, thank you all for watching. I will be back in another video at some point soon. I will be back on Monday because uh, I'm hanging out with my best friend on Monday.
So I'm going to be doing a late stream when I get, get home because I'm hanging out with my best friend on Monday because um, we planned on that. So, but that, but that's why I stream Monday and Tuesday. I stream Monday and Tuesday. I stream Monday and Tuesday. So that way, if I stream Monday, if I have to, if I'm going to be out with one of my friends, my, my best friend, Howling Wolf 94, if I'm out with him on a Monday, then I'll stream same time on a Tuesday. Or if I'm going to hang out with him on a Tuesday, I can stream the regular time Monday. So I have two days to stream, two days for as many people to come on as possible, including Reaper, Joey, Nick, Rundown, whoever wants to come on. So thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. My fellow Bay Staters, let's take this state back. And we need to change Massachusetts for the better. And how do we do that? We make sure that Moore Healy is a one-term governor. Let's do it and let's get it done. Let's let's all come together, the left and the right, and let's get this shit done. Thank you, and I will see you all in the next one. Until then and until my next video, stay safe, stay well, stay classy as always. Keep fighting, keep on rocking, take care of yourselves and all of each other. And I'll see you all in the next one. Until then and until my stream on Monday with lots more. Good night, peace out. And so long.